This clip is brought to you by SaveWithConrad.com. I want your opinion. You know, there is the old cliche, oh, the business is cyclical. And you've sort of poked fun at that before where you said, well, you know, that gas station opened up. How can we compete with that? But at the same time, this is a time where business is down, not only for the WWF, but for WCW, but there's a lot of other stuff going on. Uh, to your point, we are in the middle of a conflict and, um, well, that's probably got people a little skittish about going out to the arenas and people are just in a different state of mind. Do you think that's more of the case or or is it a perfect storm that really led to business coming down a little bit? Again, I think you can point to everything under the sun is to make excuses as to why business is up and or business is down. But I think that this was a time in our country where the economy overall, people were unsure of the future and they were unsure of what was going on, uh, looking at what was going on in the middle east and just thinking okay maybe uh we need to buckle down and and not i don't know it it was a weird time it was just a really weird time no argument for me on that i guess i wanted to ask in this era are you able to look back and say because you've often said hey they just didn't want to see it like sometimes you try things and for whatever reason it just doesn't work and the fans just don't want to see it Do you think that was the case here with the Sergeant Slaughter storyline? Are you still not convinced of that? You know, I, I, well, obviously they didn't. So, um, you know, argued all day long, obviously they didn't. Not enough people came out to support it. Um, this is one in world times that you have to look at. And there were other things. Uh, but when you look at it, bottom line, yeah, people, not enough people want to see it. That's for sure. The show does a 6.7 rating and an 11 share. So it places 74th for the week in primetime ratings. This is indeed the worst rated NBC special. The company has ever done. It winds up being the last main event show ever. And arguably, I think we can probably draw some correlations there. I know you're going to try to poke holes in that, but chat me up. Does this being the worst rating ever cause a situation or some frustration with NBC? Or was it just the end of the contract and you're going out with a whimper? It was more than anything. It was kind of a per deal anyway. And it wasn't necessarily, oh, you've got this five year, 10 year, three year, two year contract. It was a situation where if there was an opportunity to do some of these specials, no different than Saturday night's main event. Then we did them. And if it made sense for both sides, Conrad Thompson, and you're listening to something to wrestle with. Bruce Pritchard, Bruce, what's going on, man? How are you? I hate technology. Well, yeah, it took a couple tries to get this one down, but we're excited to be back with you. And Bruce, you, uh, you're looking dapper. You know, we've talked about, uh, do rag vents here before. Is this do rag Bruce? Hat. It's a hat. What's well, backwards. Are, are you? Yeah. A- well, because my hair is on backwards today. I didn't know you were a catcher, but that's how yeah. catchers wear their hats. Yeah. Yeah. There you go. Yeah. I have to let Efren know. Well, I'm excited to be here today. We're talking about main event number five. This one went down at the beginning of February, 1991. Of course, we're on the heels of the Royal rumble from 91 and we are knee deep in this, uh, Sergeant slaughter is a turncoat storyline. And we're gonna have some fun with this one today, Bruce. Let's start at the beginning. Uh, this show was taped on January 28th in Macon, Georgia. There's only about 7,500 fans in a 10,000 seat arena. And obviously there were several events being taped that day, but this one is the most high profile. It's an NBC special, uh, right off of the Royal rumble. Let's talk a little bit about the difference. I don't know you've explained it before, but briefly explain the difference between the main event and Saturday night's main event. Well, Saturday night's main event was a 90 minute show that took place late night on Saturday night in the place of Saturday night live on NBC. The main event was a primetime special that would take place in a primetime hour, usually uh, eight o'clock Eastern, seven o'clock central. Um, And that was usually live as well, but uh, that's the difference. The other thing that I want to touch on here is I kind of didn't 
remember this era being this bad for business. And I'm not saying 7,500 fans is bad. I mean, you see what they're doing over with WCW and it's anemic. I mean, they had, uh, their big pay-per-view the following month. We just recently talked about with Jim Ross for wrestle war 91, and they've got like 4,000 fans there for a war games, pay-per-view main event. But here in Macon, Georgia, you're drawing 7,500 fans to a 10,000 seat arena, which we kill off quite a bit of seats for camera kills and what have you as well. And obstructed views. You know, it's always funny how Meltzer always leaves that part out. Well, no, this isn't Meltzer. This is just me observing that. Okay. Well, uh, you got to take that into consideration. I'm not, I'm not arguing that I'm, I guess I'm trying to paint a picture that business is not where you hoped it would be in the early part of 91 relative to 90 or 89 or 88 or 87. We've started a downward trend. Can we agree? I think that uh, business was definitely challenging at this point because of just the sentiment and the economy and the uncertainty in our nation at that time. There's another story around this same time that Vince McMahon had the 900 number commercials for other wrestling hotlines pulled from his USA network shows and it agreed to start a Hulk Hogan 900 line, which is probably going to do pretty well. I remember the Hulk Hogan hotline, but I didn't remember watching back then and seeing other folks advertising a 900 wrestling hotline. Do you even remember those? Was that all bill after stuff or what was that? I think so. I think it was, I think it was like the, the after and, and just kind of rag magazines at the time that had their, you know, call now for the latest dirt on a huge star that you I'm just that kind yeah. of bullshit. Hey, Hey, it's Conrad Thompson. Thanks for checking out the podcast here on YouTube. Be sure to hit the subscribe button and the notifications bell. So you get a notice anytime we upload some new content and go save yourself some money right now. If you're in a 30 year loan or you have credit card debt, it's not a matter of if I can save you money. It's a matter of how much find out right now for free at SaveWithConrad.com.